Alright, we're out of here with the quick test. It's too nice. It's about ready to, uh, school's about ready to be done, but we wanted to try out the new Wolverine. Um, hopefully, it, hopefully it applies.
Bitch. This is an awesome plane. This is hands down probably the best plane we ever designed. And it's thanks to this guy right here for coming up with this new fuselage that allows us to be a little more creative with the wings. I'm really liking this, this cheaper foam board just because the plane is so much lighter and I can do a lot of uh, it's cool agility with this stuff. The old Wolverine, I couldn't do any of that stuff. But now if you look at it, this CG, the way it's figured out, that battery is way back there. It's not towards the front of the nose. So I can really torque this thing back and do some cool rolls with it. The roll rate is, is really nice because the elevator and the um, ailerons are all on the same wing. I mean, it takes up half the wing. So, no, I'm really, really pleased with this. And um, this is definitely the next step up after the Wolverine um, if you guys want to get into some crazier flying. So, um, with that said, that's the flying video. I'm here with Colby again. Um, the reason why I got Colby here is because he was a huge part of the, the uh, design process and thought process behind the new Wolverine. Um, the Wolverine, the original Wolverine, the ones that we are so proud to put up on our back, backdrop here, um, this was the very first one that we created uh, that jump-started this program. Um, it's called the, it was called the MX-1. And this was when we, or I first started before I was able to form the Mesa team. This thing kind of got us going, got the initial viewers in, and to this day it is the most popular video that we have. Um, and we got about maybe 6,000 views on it. So the most downloaded plane, um, it was uh, featured on a, a scratch build website as one of the, the um, top planes to download and fly just because of its, its control and its ability to um, you know, help out with beginner pilots and throughout the whole the two or three seasons that we've had at Mesa, a lot of kids have gone with the Wolverine just because it's such a stable flight. Um, with that said, Colby was coming up with some design concepts for the J-20 last semester before we broke out for summer. And he was coming up with a different type of design that's not familiar with what we're used to in the RC foam fighter world. That is having a wing go all the way across the plane. So like standard F-22s, Raptors, anything that we made, we've always had the wing go across. Well, this guy was like, well, what happens is, or why, why is it that whenever we buy a plane, it always comes with the fuselage and then we attach the wings to the fuselage? Why can't we do that with foam board? I said, well, we probably could, it's just going to take a lot of design and thought. And so we, we did this whole center part last year and we kind of just were like, you know what? It was getting really frustrating and we just decided, you know, we just, let's just take a break from it. So now we came back to it. And now we figured out all the measurements for it, and this thing is ready to go. Guys, here's the new Wolverine. Um, this plane is, is sweet. We've already test flown it, and uh, it flies better than the old Wolverine. Um, the cool features that we have on it is that the wing doesn't go through the middle of the plane. So if you notice, it, you got really oversized air ducts in here to get to the prop, uh, line a lot of wind to the prop, and then you've got the wings that will actually go off the fuselage itself. So it kind of gives it a, a more unique look, not that standard look that we've always had in our designs. And then lastly, um, the old Wolverine had just the flaps on the, on the bottoms as your controls. It was a Delta style um, Elevon type setup. Same thing with this one, however, we wanted more agility out of the Wolverine, we wanted more control, we wanted to be able to do easier rolls, it's like the next step up. So we did, what we did was we cut a Elevon all the way across from the back to the main wing. So the main wing last one didn't have it. So we pretty much have a control surface that's the whole wing, and which makes this thing really, really cool. Um, and uh, so it allows a step up for those who had already had the Wolverine and mastered the Wolverine. Um, as far as the regular dimensions, we scale it down a little bit, made it a little bit smaller so it'll go faster. Um, everything else in the, in, it worked out really well. We figured the CG and the battery sits right in the middle um, and not more towards the front of the nose like most of our planes uh, end up being. So this really helps out with the stability of the plane. It flies really smooth in the air um, and this is definitely a winner. We've been working on the CAD um, because he wants to translate this onto the J20 design that he's going to be making. So now that this design is already done and completed, he can now work with this J20 and get that finalized and out to you guys. And uh, this design, the CAD drawings are already done 
and the PDF plans are going to be out probably here in a week um, from this video. Um, we're going to have two videos. This one will this video will show our our flight main flights of this one, and then the next video will show our build of this, so that when you guys download this plane, you guys can go ahead and. Make Thank you.